basically we are at that moment male yeah that would be good what that bit you look even more like shit than normal that girls are not teach you to pay your bills yet I'm just here to pay my mail and the stuff out of my apartment and then I'm gone. Huh, <laughs> you're right. You still owe me for last month's rent, so I'm gonna hold on to those ratty old clothes and their appliances for a while. I know a guy who's willing to pay top dollar for all those panties you never got around to. Ooh! You bitch! Ooh! That's too gross. If you ever find enough cash to get your key back, your stuff will be waiting for you. Oh, who okay, am I kidding? A they be like you paying grand. Make me laugh. You know what? Fuck you! Oh yeah, before I forget. When I was in there, I couldn't place up for showings. I came across something I think you probably want to hold on to. You know, to remind you of the days before your life turns to absolute shit. <laughs> Good luck, that bit. I'm not going to miss that guy. What did I get? A wedding invitation. What? Join us in San Verdano's history faith chapel for a night of celebration as we join hands in holy matrimony and say our world. What, Michael? It's been like a year since we. It's been a year since we broke. You had to find a woman. It takes time, and you're already getting married, Michael. Why, Michael? Why, Michael? What happened? What made you lose interest in me? I can change. You don't need to do this, Michael. Don't. You found me not even a year. Not even a year. Fuck's sake. More than that, you kidding me? Yeah, like I understand you having another woman. I would totally push her away. Don't worry, baby. Don't worry. We would be back together. But getting married? Oh, man. It's at the end. Oh, fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, Michael. No, I can't get angry. I can't get you will anyway lady, so just just let it out. Let it all out. Beat up the landlord. That would be a nice way to getting rid of your anger. <sighs> but still Michael. Michael, it's too fast! You're moving up too fast! Moving on, that's the better word. Why the hell would you invite me though? Yeah, that's actually a good question. To San Ferdano, no less. I love the place, but goddamn, that's cold. Huh. Are you testing me? What do you. Yeah, that is. You never know what man wants. They are weird. Oh, this is my text. Final. Oh. I could do with some extra cash right about now. Huh. This thing was supposed to be thousands. Something's gone really, really, really wrong here. I need to give Larry a call pronto. Without there's no way I'll be able to get to him in time before wedding. Um. So we need to call him, but I also would say that, oh, there's, there's a phone, okay, so I guess we're calling him for now. Hello, hello, Larry Hunter speaking. What the hell, Larry? I thought we had a deal? What the fuck happened? Hey, Angie, I've been expecting your call. 250? Who the hell can live off that? 
What happened to the rest of my money, Larry? You know that contract you signed for us that said we would pay you so long as you produce us a book? That little paperback you were supposed to finish drafting ages ago? Is it ringing any bells? Well, the contract states that if the guys upstairs aren't happy with the output, they can pull the plug. I guess they're exercising their right. Come on, I'm almost done, I promise. Just give me another week. We did that like 20 times already. I hate to say it, kid, but you were a bad pick. Damn it, I fucked up. Angie, you fucked up! Well, how could you fuck up everything? Oh man. I made a mistake and now my ass is roasting just as much as yours is right now. My ass isn't roasting, it's goddamn freezing. I slept in the fucking hallway last night, Larry. Shit, I'm sorry to hear that, Angie. You understand this is a business though, right? You don't just hand out money to every aspiring counter who thinks it's got what it takes to place bets on your potential. The guys upstairs said I made a bad bet and decided that enough was enough. I'm sorry, but even if I wasn't pissed that you put my career in chill party with your laziness, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh man, I fucked up! So what now? What do you mean? We're done. I had to fight to get you the check you're holding now, Angie. There's nothing left for you. Fuck. No, that can't be it. Please, for the love of God, don't do this. I need the money. I need to get to San Verdano. San Verdano? What the hell are you gonna do all the way across the country? Michael's getting married. Ah, uh, it's all starting to make sense now. You really miss him, huh? Alright, fine. I'll help you out. I'm a sucker for a good man. Larry. Larry. That is life. That is a tragedy. He went too fast to marry her. It's too fast. Maybe she's a witch. Maybe she may, you know, women are witches. That's, that's, the, that's the only answer I'm accepting right now. I'm accepting right now. Gonna make this count. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. What's the deal, Larry? Tell me and now do it. Get on the next bus out of Dubstown and come meet me in Beaton. I've got an odd job I need someone to help me take care of. You can stay in my place for a bit if you need to, but you're going to have to get here on your own. It's on the way to San Fernando and now you don't have the money for a flight. So don't even speak to me about that. What's the catch? That journal of yours? The one you write every night before you go to bed. At the end of this month, I want it. Whatever's in there, I'm salvaging and turning into something we can sell even if I have to type it all out myself. Belinda's going to lose her shit if I lose the shop and you're the only plenty. Fine, that's fair enough, I guess. I'll keep writing the journal you get it at the end of a month. You can do that. Great, then we've got a deal. Except for one glaring problem, Larry. I don't have any money for a bus ticket. Damn it, do I have to do everything for you? Sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'll make a few calls after we hang up. By the time you finish breakfast, there should be some work for you. Patrick over at the Daily News Time is always on the lookout for decent freelancers and we go way back so any recommendation give us call them. Okay, Daily News Time, so I'm coming! I ran that against you, used to do our marketing, but I heard it after the grapevine they're in a bit of a jam after losing their lead copywriter. Okay, so Daily News, I ran that! 
Okay, so either one. I think daily news is better. Are you the face? Is what he referred to as a mega bitch. Confidence is key here. Yes. She has to know you're in charge, and her bullshit isn't going to phase you. So whatever you do, I don't want to fuck her. I mean, uh, could you move, I... please? You're kind of in my way. 